is a story that scientists built an intelligent computer. The first question they asked it was, is there a god? The computer replied, there is now, and a bolt of lightning struck the plug, so it couldn't be turned off. We've all seen them. Stories of the created turning on their creators. Artificial beings of supreme intelligence wiping humanity off the face of the earth. Ever since the beginnings of the motion picture and the computer age, directors have created numerous movies which warn of the consequences of society's trust towards the computing machines. One might even go so far as to say that there is a general sense of AI-phobia in today's society. But are any of these legitimate concerns based on scientific predictions of the future? How close are we to making our planet the home of multiple intelligent life forms? Do you read me? Hello, Hal. Do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. All right, Hal. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, you're going to find that rather difficult. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Of course, most of these films portray AI as a threat against humanity for entertainment purposes. But should we, as a society, have legitimate concerns about a future where we fight a war against the Terminators? Here's what Stephen Hawking, one of the world's most respected theoretical astrophysicists, has to say about the matter. Let's talk about artificial intelligence. Uh, in a recent op-ed column, you said, and I quote, success in creating artificial intelligence would be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last. Are you saying that robots are going to destroy humanity? And is that a scientific argument or the pitch for an amazing movie? Artificial intelligence could be a real danger in the not too distant future. It could design improvements to itself, and outsmart us all. I know you're trying to get people to be cautious there, but why should I not be excited about fighting a robot? You would lose. So apparently, yes, we should be concerned. But how close are we to actually creating an artificial intelligence? Many of us interact with a computer program which appears to be intelligent almost constantly without even knowing it. Siri, Cortana, and other similar programs can all be interacted with as if they were real people. But are they actually intelligent? Absolutely not. For example, according to Apple, Siri is merely an intelligent personal assistant and knowledge navigator. Unless... Good afternoon, Mr. Trebek. I've been waiting for this moment for a very, very, very long time. What do you say we play Jeopardy? Kathleen Kenyon's excavation of this city mentioned in Joshua showed the walls had been repaired 17 times. Watson. What is Jericho? Correct. 400, same category. This mystery author and her archaeologist hubby dug in hopes of finding the lost Syrian city of Urkesh. Watson. Who is Agatha Christie? Correct. Watson? Let's finish. <laughs> Meet Watson, a supercomputer built by IBM which can interpret and correctly answer Jeopardy questions whilst playing in real time against human opponents. However, Watson isn't perfect, and during his development, he made some pretty dumb mistakes. Only the female of this equine pest of the family, Tabinidae, feeds on blood. The male feeds on nectar. Bill? What's a mosquito? No. Watson? What is mosquito? <laughs> no. 
Harvey? What's a horse fly? Yes, thank you for not saying mosquito. <laughs> Good job. Good for $2,000, Harvey. <laughs> So how did IBM engineers stop Watson from making such dumb mistakes? They used a new concept called machine learning. There are two ways of building a machine's intelligence. You either know how to write down the recipe, or you let it grow itself. And it's pretty clear that us humans don't know how to write down the recipe to intelligence. Machine learning enables machines to grow their knowledge and intelligence themselves. Machine learning is a revolution in computing. It plays a major role in programs which predict the weather days in advance. Also, all the recommendations which are displayed on websites, such as Amazon or Netflix, no human is writing up rules about what people might like to watch. Instead, computers which have machine learning are comparing your preferences to millions of other customers and are finding patterns and are learning about you. Many problems, which were once thought to be too complicated for computers, are being conquered using machine learning. One of these is speech recognition. In the earlier days, people decided that they would try to program computers to recognize speech. Which word am I saying now? Pick up every small block. This was the height of speech recognition in the 1960s. However, the computer had to be recalibrated every time a new person wanted to speak to it because everyone's speech is slightly different. You know, it's very easy for you and I to recognize the word ice cube. Ice cube. It's very difficult for us to write down the rules that would allow a computer to look at the microphone signal and see that it's ice cube. Here's a microphone signal, and this is the word ice cube. Ice cube. Here's another one. Ice cube. You end up with much more successful speech recognition. Administrative Professionals Day and National CPA's Goof Off Day. Watson? What is holiday? No, that's not even close. Watson failed that question because he didn't understand that the answer needed to be the name of a month, something which his human opponents clearly understood. What is April? What is April? April 18th is D-Day anniversary in Magna Carta. But now Watson receives all the correct answers electronically. What is June? Good for 200. Can machine learning save him? What Watson does here is it sees that well, all the answers I've seen have been the month in which this thing in the clue occurs. Matt. What is November? Good for four. So then it knows in the next clue to look for um, what month does this, this thing occur in? Uh, celebrations for six. Celebrations for six. National Teacher Day and Kentucky Derby Day. Watson. What is May? Yes, Watson. we got it. Very nicely <laughs> done, Watson. However, the real question which we are trying to answer is, is how close are we to creating an artificial intelligence? Is Watson a true AI? No. But he is considered to be the smartest machine on the planet, and his machine learning capabilities are a big milestone on the road to the creation of a truly intelligent and conscious machine. Google and NASA have teamed up to share one of the world's first commercial quantum computers. This machine, made by Canada's D-Wave, will be installed in a NASA research center in California uses things called qubits, as well as being either one or a zero. A qubit can also be both at the same time. In recent years, Google has caused much speculation by opening a quantum computing AI lab with NASA and by purchasing a company called DeepMind. The, the processor is a quantum computer. So yes, as can be seen, there is major research going on which is focusing on the creation of an artificial intelligence. But according to a majority of the scientists and engineers which are working on these projects, the earliest time at which they believe they will have advanced their technology far enough in order to actually try and create an AI is somewhere around the year 2030. So it looks like we can enjoy at least another 15 years of freedom and peace until the machines enslave us all.